Let's talk some more about cops in Portland. Remember through the smoke of the riots two summers ago when so many called for reforms in policing? Well, one of the things that happened was the disbanding of a special team of officers that focused on guns and gun violence. Now, we are not going to debate that move again. We've done it several times and it's long since happened. But at the time, you might recall the police union said it was a terrible idea. Need a refresher? Well, obviously, that's a catastrophic mistake. It'll resonate shockwaves through the community as public safety. Um, our citizens are at risk. Uh, obviously, uh, units like the Gun Violence Re Reduction uh, Task Force, uh, they go to hundreds of calls, thousands of calls of gunfire. They've taken hundreds of guns off the street. They've arrested hundreds of people who are, are violent gun offenders and uh, respond to thousands of calls of thousands of bullets that have been sprayed in our neighborhoods, in our homes, in our parks, in our cars, and a place where we recreate. Uh, so that's going to be a huge, huge uh, catastrophic issue uh, for safety in the city of Portland. Well, now a lot of people would say you nailed it back then. He was absolutely right. Back then, the police also warned that officers, the people actually on the front lines of keeping the city safe, were not being appreciated and might start heading toward the exit. And man, did they ever. Roughly 150 officers quit or retired from then till now. And here we are with a little bit of a problem. Record shootings, record number of murders, and there's not nearly enough cops in the city, according to the mayor. So now he wants to hire hundreds more. He'll need support from the city council, the same body, although not the same people who cut $15 million from the cops budget in the summer of 2020. One of the new members is a public safety supporter, Mingus Maps. I had a chance to talk with him today. The sense I get is that a lot of officers who have retired or gone on to other departments uh, were frustrated by some of the statements in the past. They sort of felt vilified and not appreciated yeah. and they were doing a dangerous job and nobody had their back. So why would you stick around? Yeah. How, but I, and I know that you've been a supporter of public safety since yeah. uh, August when you started campaigning yeah. for the position and probably earlier, yeah. but how do you change that atmosphere? Well, I think the, the reality is the atmosphere has changed. Um, you know, I think Portlanders have a new appreciation for the important work that, uh, that the police department does. Uh, doesn't mean that there isn't room for improvement. There are important reforms that we still need to make. Um, um, but I think that we have a, we see our public safety needs much more clearly than we did um, a little bit ago. Uh, as you were just talking about hiring more cops, it reminded me of something I saw on Twitter or somewhere on social yeah. media, someone saying the only thing hiring more cops is gonna do is have another generation of black men feel like they're oppressed in the city of Portland. Well, you know, I will point out that uh, more people have been killed in gun crimes in Portland uh, in the past 11 months than uh, we've seen in any year um, in our city's history. And Portland's been around for 170 years. I'll also tell you that uh, the vast majority of the folks who have been killed in gun violence are people of color. Frankly, um, they tend to be black men who look a lot like me. Um, I think that that is an equity problem, which the city of Portland has not come to terms with. Um, frankly, the uh, reforms that we're proposing on um, public safety in Portland are one of the ways in which we can actually provide justice to um, people of color who are just want to get through their day. Does he have enough votes to get this through? Uh, you might have to ask him. Um, I will have some questions about some of the specific items in his proposal, but um, overall, I broadly support the direction he's going in. So I, I, I'm pretty sure in the end that uh, the mayor can count on my votes. My journalistic uh, spidey sense was saying, oh, tell us what you don't like in his package. Oh, well, you know, one of the things that um, I was disappointed at in the mayor's budget is the lack of treatment beds that are connected to the behavioral health unit. So again, those are the cops who deal with uh, mentally ill folks who are also violent. Um, the goal here is that instead of taking um, a violent mentally ill person to jail for frankly a couple of hours, um, those folks at the police department can take them to a treatment center where there's a bed that is reserved for uh, police department clients. The commissioner said he'll keep pushing for those extra beds.